Hello, this is Sammy from Phoenix Physical Therapy, and today we are going to be talking about your core strength um, for your workout tip of the week. So we see a lot of people for low back pain, whether it's acute low back pain, so that means maybe you heard it at work yesterday, or it's back pain you've had for years. There's a lot of things we can do to help both of them. Now we have muscles in our back that actually come across and connect at our core and our stomach as well. So a big part of what we do in physical therapy is teach patients about the importance of core strength and how activating our core can actually take some pressure off of our back. So whether you have arthritis, you have a slip disc, anyone with any type of back pain can benefit from some core strengthening. So I'm gonna go through two exercises today that really can help you with that. And they're kind of the beginner ones that we'll start patients off with, and then we'll progress from there. Okay, so this first one, you're gonna be laying on your back. I like to have patients put their hands underneath their back. So just kind of at your low back here, and you're gonna be doing a pelvic tilt. So you're gonna be tilting your pelvis and squeezing your stomach, okay? So it's the opposite direction of sticking your butt out. You're gonna do the pelvic tilt and relax, okay? So we all have patients do around 20 to 30 of these at least once a day to try to get their core to start activating. A way you can progress this is actually by lifting your feet up and pushing down into your hands and relaxing, okay? So you can do 30 of those total. That's the first one. The second exercise, this is called a bird dog. You're gonna be in a quadruped position, so hands and knees, and you're gonna extend your opposite arm and your opposite leg until you're in a straight line, and you're gonna come back down, come underneath your body a little bit, and then back up again, okay? The key with this is, is you don't wanna hyperextend your back, but you also don't wanna tuck under. I like to tell people you want to be able to take like a glass of water and put it right on your low back so it's able to stay there nice and stable. Another thing with this one, so we can do around 10 of them on the right arm and 10 of them on the opposite side. So coming in and coming back out, keeping your eyes looking straight down with this. You do not want to lean left or right, okay? So completely flat back, coming in, and coming back out. Okay, so that one, and then the first exercise we just did there, those are two really good ones that you can start uh, to help activate your core to release some of that back pain. 